Hi, I'm Gabriel, account manager at Shining 3D, and today we are going to scan with the Einscan HX. In this case, we are going to use the laser mode and the structural light mode. Uh, for this special case, we are going to put some markers in the part, so we are going to use magnetic markers. So, let's get started. After sticking the magnetic markers on the roof, pillars and the partition, we start the X-Scan software for Einscan HX. We will create a new workspace and choose the laser scan mode, marker alignment, and then we can adjust the brightness in the preview. We are starting in the partition, so we are adjusting the brightness settings to black. Now checking if we have the right distance to the object, which is displayed by the green light on the scanner and in the software, this is fine. So we start scanning. As we can see, the seven cross blue laser lines track the markers in order to capture the part. It's important to always pay attention if the tracking is working correctly and the markers are recognized. If not, maybe more markers are necessary because the scanner must be able to see at least four markers in the scan field at any time. If you still have trouble with the tracking, an easy solution would be also to calibrate your scanner properly. As you can see, the first scan is completed. We are not going to scan the whole bank in one project. That will be too difficult because of the size and the layout. To have a more enjoyable scanning process, we will create multiple projects and thus avoiding mistakes. This gives us also the opportunity to utilize both projection methods of the Einscan HX. So each part of the bank will be a new scan. Later, we are going on to align them together into one. This gives us also more flexibility. If at some point, for example, we only need one specific part of the vehicle, which makes things easier to work with. It is practical to start the scanning on an already captured part from the old project in order to have some common points to align between the old and the new one. Same process, point the scanner to the surface, check for the right distance and press start. The first brightness settings was adjusted for the black surface, so when moving over the white surface of the pillars and the roof, the image is way too bright. Luckily, we can change it while scanning with the dedicated buttons on the scanner. You can also change the zoom with the other two buttons to your liking, with no need to do it on the computer. After obtaining enough data from this second project, we proceed to generate the point cloud and then align the different projects. In this case, we will align them thanks to the auto-align feature, without needing to choose three common points as in previous software versions. Although if this fails for whatever reason, you can still do it manually. 
as we can see, we have a successful result and we can proceed to mesh the files. After the mesh is completed, we will have the STL file of Tinyin with the laser scan and then process it afterwards with your magic essentials, which is included with your Einscan HX. Now we are going to switch to the rapid mode scan using the structural light to show you the capabilities of this two in one solution. We need to create a new workspace for this case and we are going to use texture alignment in order to show you how the scanner is able to track the different surfaces due to the different textures. Then we will use this data to align the side panels of the interior of the bank to the laser scan project in Geomagic Essentials. As you can see, we switch seats to the van cabin. After creating a new workspace for this third part and choosing feature alignment mode, we are again in the preview mode. Distance is good, brightness is adjusted, so we can already start scanning again. Thanks to the blue LEDs, the scanner is able to capture dark surfaces much better, which is perfect for all these dark shades of the dashboard and seats. It's important to still always keep looking at the screen, even if you have the distance indication LED on the scanner to avoid misalignments and losing tracking. So make sure to keep your computer nearby. If the tracking loss alert pop up, we just have to go back to an already scanned area and the software will recognize it and recenter its positioning. So, after we capture everything around our position, we are going to move outside and capture the areas that we couldn't reach before, for example, where I was sitting. We will keep using the feature alignment mode. In order to be able to align the cabin with the cargo area, the side door is open and we will move from the seat to outside to the vehicle and then move to the back capturing enough data to be able to align the cargo area and driver cabin later on. After checking the second scan of the cabin, 
we will generate the point cloud in order to align the two different projects. Same process as with the laser scan. We'll try the auto align option before choosing three common points manually. If the scans have enough features between the two projects, the auto alignment works 95% of the time. So now the scanning is complete and considering the time this whole one 3D scan took is pretty impressive. Now, what we can do is move over to Geomagic Essentials. Import our rapid scan data and our laser scan data into one and use the overlapping data to align everything into one giant model. As you can see, this process is very simple and gives so many opportunities and so much more flexibility since you have the best of both worlds while working with laser scanning and stratolite scanning. And finally, here is the result after the SDL was supported with Geomagic Essentials. This gives the convenient option of having all the scan data in one project and also each specific part separately as well. I hope you found this tutorial and showcase of the Einscan HX helpful. If you have any more questions, you can drop us a comment down below or reach us via our social media channels. If you are having technical difficulties, you can reach our support team via einscan underscore support at shining3d.com and if you are now interested in purchasing an einscan hx or looking for another 3d scan solution contact us at sales at shining3d.com thanks for watching and have a nice day